We are in the Wara area now. It is a mountain town in Sri Lanka and it looks like really another world. It took us three hours and a half to go from Ella to Sri Lanka by a very beautiful train. And now here everything is so calm, so tranquil. Besides, it is very cold. It's about 20 degrees, not 30 as usual, but 20. And there are a lot of beautiful streets and houses. So in this video, I'm going to show you Nawara Elia and to tell about its history, which I googled. And if you like my videos, so give this video a like and subscribe to see more of them. So let's start. Nuwara Elia, located in the central highlands of Sri Lanka, is a picturesque city renowned for its stunning natural beauty, temperate climate and rich history. Often referred to as Little England, Nuwara Elia's history is deeply interwinded with the colonial era of Sri Lanka. You know, yeah, that a lot of Asian countries were colonized. That's why we can see a lot of European architecture in them. For example, in Novarelli, you can go inside a beautiful park, but the entrance uh, is not free. It is 500 rupees for an adult. But there are also a lot of free places to have a pleasant walk. For example, this is uh, a house of a national library. I liked it very much and we were trying to find some food in restaurants and uh, we came across uh, this local market with really cheap food and actually the food is quite tasty we took a roti and some pancakes with a mushroom soup you see how funny the mushroom soup looks but it is tasty and there is a central market with a lot of fruits and vegetables. Vegetables here now are very cheap because of the season and we enjoy cooking them every day. Here in Varele you can see a lot of rich spots for rich people. For example, some golf fields, some rich uh, cottages uh, and uh, uh, hotels. I will show you this uh, because, uh, as we understand, there is a famous uh, golf club and a lot of rich people come here to have a game or to rest, something like this. Oh, this is uh, a food court and a supermarket with a very <laughs> friendly guardian, as usual. Yeah, this is the village uh, near Nuvarele or in Nuvarele, actually, we don't know. Uh, which is very beautiful and there are a lot of the houses for the rich people. People are always attracted here because of cool climate and fertile soil. Here is the golf field, yeah, you see? And because it is quite cool, it is very comfortable, just walk around. This is our room in a hotel in the Marymount Hostel, something like this. The building is both quite ancient and at the same time it is very modern. I love this kind of building. Yeah, you see this is the bathroom and uh, other rooms in the mansion. There is even a kitchen. Uh, so we liked our stay here and it is quite cheap. It is about $20 a day or something like this. Yeah, I've already said that everything is great with accommodation in Nuvara Elia. Again, a lot of houses because I love houses. And you can also discover a lot of plantations here in Nuvara Elia. Let's get back to the history. Under British rule, Nuvara Elia quickly became a retreat for the colonial elite seeking respite from the heat of the coastal regions and it seems that it is still the same. So the British built charming cottages, lush gardens and golf courses leaving behind a legacy of colonial architecture and a distinct English ambience that still pervades the town today. 
By the way, if you want to add that local Sri Lankan people built something here too and for example I'm not right about some colonial era things, write it in the comments but please be respectful to me because I'm making these videos to show how beautiful and great Sri Lanka is. And sometimes it is very hard to find online some history which only locals can know. So if you want to add something, just add it. And don't be rude. So now Noir area is one of the most important areas in Sri Lanka's economy. And of course, like many tourist destinations, Noir area faces challenges and efforts are being made to promote sustainable tourism practices and preserve the region's natural beauty for future generations to enjoy. Overall, I think that Nwarealia is a very beautiful city to visit if you are exploring Sri Lanka and it is very extraordinary and differs from other cities. So, if you enjoyed this video, give me a like and subscribe to me if you want to see more. See you in my next videos. Bye-bye!